up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a chatty get ready with me video. This isn't really going to be product focused. It's basically just going to be me chatting with you guys as I'm getting ready. So I'm not really going to talk much about the products. Um, but I will have them linked down below. These are pretty standard that I've been using for the past few months. You guys have seen it already, but I just wanted to kind of chill with you guys. I have conference tonight and I'm getting ready, so I just wanted to do this. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much if you guys have picked up the merch already, guys. I cannot believe how many people have. Like, it just, it blows my mind every time I release new stuff that people actually buy it and actually like it. It makes me so happy. My favorite is the best thing yet to come crew neck. I'm obsessed with it. Also, who loves my t-shirt today? In sync. That's amazing. I'll also have my Instagram link down below in case you guys want to see that. <laughs> Okay, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try to do this fast because I turned the AC off, and I'm going to die. So, we'll see. I haven't even done any skincare today. My washer and dryer finally getting fixed, and my mechanic's just making lots of noise. First things first, obviously, I'm starting off with my Tiger Grass Cream. Um, for all of you guys who ask me all the time like how to get rid of redness, how to whatever, I get the question a ton because I do have redness in my face. Maybe we'll also just ask that, I don't really know. This stuff is the best stuff I have ever used. It really is just such a huge game changer. It blurs out your skin, it's really good. It's definitely better for you when, if you're paler, like whatever, I self tan, I don't really put this on because I find it like kind of lightens my skin a little bit and then it looks a little bit odd. but. It is like the best stuff ever. And it's the only thing I've ever really used that's worked for redness. It's amazing. Okay, oh, I forgot I had to answer these questions. Let's see what you guys are asking me today. Advice to someone who has had no luck with men ever. If you have anything, comment down below. What is your biggest regret to date? I don't really have like a really big regret. By the way, I'm putting on my C, uh, C Firma cream. But I don't really like have any like huge regrets. If anything, like if I look back on things that I wish I would have like handled differently or done differently, um, it all kind of stems from like having an attitude of humility, like not having an attitude of humility and like thinking I know everything. Which that could go from like handling conflict with friends or with like people or um <laughs> Okay in this in this mirror right now. You guys can't see the reflection, obviously, but the reflection, it's literally... It's Drake, I'll show you guys. Just kidding. My phone is not taking photos. This is my Nurse Jamie uplift thing. Um, <laughs> uplift thing, I don't know. It's like the uplift tool. I'm gonna use this to just go through my face. I found lately that my face is, like, really puffy in the morning, and I didn't have to deal with this ever until probably this year. Notice it being weird. Anyways... The only things that I really regret would be situations that I didn't handle well, which typically is just when you're not handling things from a heart of humility. So if I was kind of like a know-it-all or if I was like, you know, like rude, even if I wasn't really in the wrong in a situation, if I didn't just like, you know, like be the bigger person, stuff like that, I guess that would be it. Or just like, I think so much of everything goes down to humility. And you don't even realize it, like it's things that are just like kind of random to humility, but that's like probably my biggest regret. Also, who loves my shirt? It's in sync. I know. It's from Urban. I got it very, very recently. Also, I'm sorry for the wristband. Conference is tonight, Zoe conference. Guys, I'm so excited. I've been working on conference like for a few months now, but um, Zoe's been working on it for like a year and we have been setting up so yesterday I was there for like 10 hours setting up and just like hanging out with everyone it was so fun but tonight is night one so I am literally so excited um by the time you guys see this video it's, I'm pre-filming right now for Greece so I don't know when you guys will see this but I'm just so excited it's literally the best conference ever if you guys are ever in LA during the month of August come to conference because conference is the best thing ever I'm just gonna answer this because literally I'm not kidding at least 60% of the comments are about Andrew People ask me if I have feelings for Andrew if we're to get whatever blah blah blah. No I don't know if you guys watched that like we we're talking about that I'm like, I don't know if you guys watched the series fully because if you really still think That like that's a good idea. I'm just so lost like never 
ever. I love Andrew. I think he's awesome, but I don't know. Not like that at all. Anyways, moving on. What is this? Grande Stay Put Liner? Clear Hydrating Lip Liner. <laughs> wow, I'll try this out today. Also, there's so many that are like, it really looks like y'all have feelings for each other, blah, 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 blah. I'm, we're like, it's just not happening, guys. I hate to be the one to break it to you. I really thought that video series already broke it to you, but I guess not. It's not happening. Um, and that's just not even like, yeah, no. Okay, you know what? It Cosmetics CC Cream. This stuff is the best. I have to be at conference. Like, I'm gonna be up, gone all day today, basically, all night, whatever. You know, when you put your hair up and you're like, yeah, this is awesome, and then like three hours go by and you're like, this is the most painful thing ever, but you hairsprayed it and you can't really like make it look better or you can't really make it like, you know, it's just gonna be painful. By the end of the night, I'm gonna feel like my hair is ripping out of my skull. So that's awesome. I'm super pumped for that. I'm really excited to, to endure that. That'll be good. I don't like this mirror. It's very smudged. Also, sorry if this coffee table is smudged. I touch it once and it, it just looks like that. Like there's really nothing I can do. Okay, moving on to concealer. <sighs> this stuff always looks crazy. I like this concealer, but you like have to bake or else it um, creases really bad. So that's awesome. I need to cream contour. I'm kind of really all over the place today, guys. You know what video I kind of want to do that I just don't think would actually like do well or make sense, but like a morning commute drive with me. So you guys like drive with me on my like drive to school in the morning, which is like 30, 35 minutes. Like a drive with me video, but you guys like see what I do. But the issue is like, if I listen to a podcast majority of the way there, like you can't, like it's just you record, like how would that work? I keep thinking my ears are gonna fall out. Like ideally it like would be a cool video, and it's kind of like how I start my day. And I know I could just put it in like a morning routine. I kind of just wanted to go like in depth because like I do certain things for like a reason, but I just don't think it would even be long enough. Like hmm. my favorite part of my makeup is when I blend all this out and then I go under with my concealer and I clean it up. Like, wow, something about that is just very satisfying. I'm like kind of stressing right now and I don't want to stress, but like I've conference all weekend and then I have like two days off but I have a bunch of podcast stuff. I did an outside podcast, kind of. I posted stories. I haven't hidden it. It's been in my Instagram bio. Oh my gosh, let's talk about this podcast. So, I actually just signed with a podcast network, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to go, like, way more into depth in my podcast video all about that, like, when I'm doing whatever. But, um, I don't really even know how I'm going to do that. But... Yeah, so I'm gonna like be there in the office. It's like really close to my school And it has an amazing view. It's a great office, but um It's like if you guys listen to like the skinny confidential podcast or like we met at Acme um, Yeah, like they have those it's actually Michael from the skinny confidential oh, From the skinny confidential, but I didn't even realize until like time went on because I'm an idiot <laughs> So yeah, it's awesome. I'm like really obsessed with podcasts my one fear is that you guys just aren't gonna like wanna listen to it because obviously like I have like a, I mean, I still have like an 18 to 24 audience, but like, you know what I'm saying? Podcasts are like typically like 25 and up, which is totally fine if you guys don't wanna listen to it. I like other people will hopefully listen to it. Maybe not, who knows? But that's like my one, my one thing that I'm a little bit afraid of. What is your biggest insecurity and how have you tried to overcome it? Um. I can't really think of like something that like comes to mind like of all time like of course someone comes to the door I'm gonna kill her Anyways, oh uh, packages uh, Thank you. Well, Who are they from? So what? Who are they from? Urban and good customer? I don't know good. Oh, maybe that's my jewelry Okay, I'm done with that. Anyways, um You guys all of the drama that's going on in the background. My washer and dryer are broken, so I have to go fix that somehow. I always have to fix everything. Love that so much, I really do. And then my, um, my, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, I have so much laundry. I literally have, like, guys, this is so bad. Probably like a month's worth of laundry bronzing up my face right now, which is just like not cute, not good. I'm running out of clothes. I leave for Greece next week, and I have conference all weekend. So, 
I'm going to quickly try to go do 17 loads of laundry at the laundromat and see if I can get that taken care of. I don't know guys, it's just a mess here. Like, this is bad timing. Now, I'm going to dust off my, I never know what to say. Is it, you're not blending this out. You're dusting it off. The powder on my face, does that make sense? I also say sentences that just don't make sense. I like will talk in the middle of a sentence and say something else. It's like all of them are like incomplete thoughts. Very bad. Anyways, insecurity. I don't know exactly what like an insecurity would be, but I think I think it would be I have like a fear. I don't know if this would work, but I have like a fear of people thinking that I think I'm like better or like too good or whatever. I don't know. People are just weird when you have like any sort of following. And like that's it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I mean it's awesome and I'm really grateful for everyone, but like I don't know, people just assume that you are a certain way when I literally, like, I don't care. Like, if you ask any of my friends that I'm around, like, I never talk about it. Like, it's, or like, we just don't talk about it. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. So I really hate when people just, like, make assumptions. And I guess I'm, like, really aware of that. So maybe that would be an insecurity. And I definitely dumb down things that I do in order to, like, not come off a certain way. But I shouldn't fear that. Does that make sense? I don't know. And because of that, if I'm not super like, hi guys, how are you? Like crazy, energetic, and excited. I'm just kind of like chill and I'm like quiet. People are like, oh my God, she's so stuck up. You know, and it's like, I don't have to like smile in your face for like 17 hours a day. You know what I mean? Like there's other things to do. So that would probably be it. How many boys have I kissed? Um, honestly, I don't know. I'm 21 now, guys. This is so exciting. I know. Oh, okay. People are asking, like, how has it been being 21? Well, in my program, uh, we're not supposed to drink. Not, it's not like drinking's bad, whatever. It's like a focus thing, which honestly, like, that I'm fine with that. <laughs> like, drinking is just, I don't know how to describe it, guys, but like, drinking affects me way more than it did when I was younger. <laughs> and so, I don't, I don't know. I feel like now I'm like, I'm old, but also, it just like really gets me so down and then I get like I feel so sick I can't function the next day it's not even a hangover it's like a I just feel really down on myself I just don't like it I used to like love that love love some Tito's not gonna lie yeah so like obviously we went out on my 21st and that was fine but like I don't I don't really care for it it's not like yeah it's very weird if you would have told me this my younger self back when I was a wild child um, for like six months. <laughs> you would have told me that I would feel this way one day, would not have believed you. And people did tell me that I would feel this one day, this way one day. I also didn't believe that. So, who freaking knows, man? Life is wild. But yeah, being 21 is cool. I haven't like even bought alcohol, actually. I haven't done really anything, literally. I went out, but like people bought me stuff, so I didn't even like, yeah. And then I went to school and we're not supposed to, so like I'm not drinking until I'm on break, which is fine. Someone asked, who would you rather be stranded on an island with, Joe, Yana, or Ian? That is no doubt 150% Ian, not even comparable. Like, Ian, wait, Ian, can you hear me? Okay, good, I don't want him to hear me say nice things. Um, no, Ian's just like so easygoing and when Ian and I argue, we like bicker, but it's not real. I mean, sometimes it's real, but we get over it really fast and we still love each other, so it's good. We just like get along well. Yana and I could not survive on an island together. We would kill each other. I'm gonna try this lip liner. I don't really know what it means, but it's an invisible lip liner. What does that even mean? Okay, people keep asking me about like, what do I do in my devotions? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, also, a lot of the questions, this is something that I'm gonna say, a lot of the questions, that I get are like faith related, which is awesome. But like, that's not what my entire channel is about. And also people ask me questions all the time and like, I think you guys just need to remember, I'm not like, and like, it's totally fine if you are, but I'm not this like conservative, like Bible Belt, go to university, wear tacos, like kind of mold. Like that's so fine if you are, but people ask me questions all the time about just random stuff and I'm like that's just not who I am at all and that's also I don't know I think you can believe the same thing and like have very different takes on it and very different views on it like I had a lot of problems I'm not gonna lie this is me I don't want to feel about that but I'm gonna talk about it I'm doing so out of order why would I put lip gloss on first I don't really know 
Um, okay. And like, I really mean nothing negative by this at all. Like, those people are so fine and so awesome. And then like, people like me are so fine and so awesome. But, and I'm trying to film, I, Strand and Island, guys. I basically am. Oh, but what I was saying is like, I don't want to be a um, channel. Like, I don't want to be, and I don't feel called to be, and I also, I don't want a channel that's like all faith by any means. I don't think that you have to talk about it all the time to live your life like that. People ask me to do devotion videos all the time and like I don't know, like I don't want to be one of those people that has like, it's like Bible doodling and all that stuff all the time. I think that's so awesome and there are people who are supposed to do that but I'm not that person. So I don't know. With that being said, watch me end up becoming that but <laughs> I'm not going to, I promise. When I came back to church after my long leave of absence, I was at like a Hillsong College night thing and he was like, you know, you don't have to believe everything the same as the neighbor next to you as long as you like believe in like the overall like Jesus essentially. You don't have to believe like every single detail the same, like we're not all supposed to be the same, blah 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 blah. Like we all have like differing opinions and differing whatever. And that took so much weight off my shoulders because I was like, okay, but I don't think that that was, I think this was taken out of context and I think this is taken out of context and like when you actually read things for what they are, it really is so different than how a lot of people have been teaching them. So yeah, not trying to offend anyone. I think it's awesome if you're that way. It's just that, like I'm not that way in the same way that you're not the way that I am or whatever. So anyways, I cannot believe I have to go do my laundry. I just don't have time guys. I'm so stressed and I have to go do this because I'll just, I'll die if I don't basically. If you could only have one thing of Juicy Couture for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably Juicy track pants with juicy on the butt and jewels. I feel like this is a little bit messy. I feel like this video, I hope it made sense. We're just sitting, chatting, having some some nice combo, if you will. Um, it wasn't really, oh my gosh. This was more so like a, just a chatty video, not like a tutorial video. Just, just wanted to sit with you guys as I chatted. I don't know how to film YouTube videos anymore. It's just really embarrassing. Any crushes on YouTubers? It's really hard for me to even have a fake crush. Like, I have to be like, I'm either like in love with you or like, it's nothing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys did. I'm sorry if this is like right in my face. Um, I really had a good time just chatting and getting ready with you guys. Um, if you guys have not already, I would love for you guys to subscribe and follow me on Instagram because... That's where I'm always at. And I do Friday favorites where you guys can see my favorites of like favorite podcasts, books, music, makeup, people, stuff like that. It's super fun. All right, I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.